Hey guys, I'm Kerbal Essences and this is the story of my Kerbal Space program. Welcome to the never ending glory. In the last episode I have made my first orbit and launched a non-profit science rocket to unlock more efficient rocket parts. These allow me to reach further into space and shall be used to achieve my first milestone, the moon. Doing one step at a time I decide to go for an unmanned moon landing first. This is the Glory Moon Probe 1. It is equipped with 3 thumbsters at 70% throttle. And here comes the countdown. 3, 2, 1 and lift off! I realize quickly how challenging flying a rocket can be when you have to control it manually without SAS. In addition, using solid rocket boosters with a fixed gimbal, a controlled launch renders even more difficult. I try everything, even using my landing gear to steer it. I thought maybe added drag on the side would make the rocket turn. Nothing helps and I'm glad turning on my liquid engine after separation. A manned mission will definitely use only such. After a long struggle I have eventually made it to orbit. An almost full T-400 fuel tank and the Terrier engine are left to take me to the moon safely. With only the most basic navigation software aiming for it becomes quite tricky though. I raise my apoapsis roughly one quarter of an orbit in front of the moon. Like this I should be there in time for the moon to fly by. And the freefall begins. I put my craft in hibernation by cutting the batteries from the circuits. Like this I will lose no valuable energy on my long journey. I wish there was a way to gather energy in space. Ok, time to wake up. We have an encounter with the moon. After a quick rocket burn in the opposite direction of which I am falling, I get caught and achieve a stable orbit around it. I decrease my orbital altitude until I am on a collision course with its surface. Decreasing my horizontal speed further and further leaves me almost hovering in space. Now I start to feel gravity again as I have to burn against it to slow my descent. Keep it steady and touchdown. My probe has successfully landed on a giant rock in space. And with the left energy it is able to transmit all the science data. Meanwhile at KC the fulfilled contract flushed enough funds into my coffers to upgrade the VAB. A new contract and minor upgrades in the construction department helped to pursue my first manned mission beyond low carbon orbit. Glory Moon Mission 1. It consists of 1, 2, 3 liquid stages and the first having a total of 4 equally powerful liquid boosters. Without further ado to the launch pad. Throttling up and launch. Now this is a controlled flight. A beautiful trajectory. And we are ready for the first stage separation. Followed by the second stage ignition. Finally in low carbon orbit I have nothing but to repeat what I have done just moments ago with my unmanned probe. Burn. Hibernation. And freefall. After a quick insertion burn, I am again in low moon orbit. But this time I choose a slightly different landing location, right next to this giant crater over here.
the descent looks really good, but as I came closer to the ground, I realized it is too slopey for a safe landing. Looking for a new landing site, I already feel the fuel reserves melting. This must do it now, and... Now that is a tilt. The leaning tower of Pisa must be jealous by now. Hail the reaction control system. Now hurry, I run my experiments and am ready to head home again. My astronaut training program has not yet worked out a way to leave the capsule in space, so I have to continue without a Kerbal having set foot on Moon. Pity. Heading towards 270 degrees, I raise my apoapsis into the opposite direction the Moon is traveling, which means I decrease my overall periapsis to Kerbin. With the last bits of fuel, I manage to dip my periapsis into the atmosphere and am ready for re-entry. We're almost home, almost, because re-entry proves quite challenging as well. This heat shield has never endured such a high velocity before and breaks to suborbital speeds with almost no ablator left. Yet another close call, but we're back home. My impactor saves the day by absorbing the impact forces, thus saving our valuable science equipment. Over 200 science points, but I've lost 30,000 funds in total, although I have fulfilled two contracts. I will really have to pay more attention to my financials and develop more affordable ways to reach space in future. In the end I want to give a little thank you to the soccer guy from the KSP forums for his KSP Blender plugin. His Blender plugin helps me creating those assembly animations you see in my videos. Also a big thank you to you guys as well for watching my videos. I'm really stunned by all your great feedback. Thanks. Okay, that's it for this episode and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.